cosmos demands to know the secrets hiding in the hearts of men. So I simply cut them open. Mercenaries got you. So now they have people watch us get punished. That's a different kind of shame. I'm not here to watch. I just saw you by chance. What you saw was a man who paid his master for freedom, but is being kept a slave. You can do that? My master gave me a price for my freedom, and I saved until I had enough. Now that I've given him the drachmi, he pretends as if the deal never existed. That isn't right. Let me talk to him for you. Really? You do that? My name is Phaedon. I don't know who you are, but surely you were sent by the gods. They must have heard my prayers. If you're waiting on help from the gods, I can leave. No, please don't. Someone or something brought you here to me. Yes, my legs did. Gods or not, I'm grateful. My master should be near the silver mine. He's likely overseeing other slaves like myself. Have you always been a slave? Since my youth. I was in the wrong place and born to the wrong family. I've been sold more than once. And you just now got enough to buy your freedom. More like I found a master who was willing to give me that sort of deal. I should have known he'd lie. It was my only hope and now it's gone. Do you often get whipped like that? More than you know. What did you do? I don't always know. Not working fast enough. Looking at someone wrong, asking for water. Sometimes they do it just for fun. I'm not sure how much more I can take. I'll talk to your master and make sure he listens. He's not really the listening type. He will be with me. You look strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves, Fedon. As if I know their names! You're wasting my time! Give me a moment to explain. That's close enough to begging for me. Fine. Speak. There's a man who paid you for his freedom. He'd like you to follow through on that promise. Hmm... Doesn't sound familiar, but I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, and I'll give this Phaedon his freedom. What is it? There's a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves, but the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're a member of the cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Baron. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, 
The slave stays that way, and I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. Why does this woman need to die? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you needed to know that. Wait, you don't. Fedon said you already broke your promise once. This better not be another of those times. Look around. I have plenty of slaves. In exchange for the woman's death, I can let one go. Most people prefer to keep their cult status a secret. You can't do a thing about it if you want to help whatever his name is. Also, it adds a bit more fun to the situation, don't you think? I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. One person's freedom is another's demise. Cassandra! What chance that we should meet here? It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic to be about fate? No, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. Do I have to leave Attica to be rid of you? It feels like you're everywhere I go. It is very strange, but to answer your question, yes, leaving Attica would help. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? There's no difference between one person and another. We all take our first breath the same way. But are the breaths you take equal to my own? Would you not say the breath of Pericles is put to better use than that of someone in prison? It doesn't matter which two people you compare. The answer is the same. So, a thief is equal to a priest, a politician to a child? An interesting view. I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You too, Socrates. What is it? I'm not going to kill someone so you'll free Fedon when he should have been already. Fine. I'll find someone else to kill her, and Fedon will remain my slave. I'll be sure he receives a grand reward for wasting so much of my time. will be vigilant here. democracy when Thrakmi rules the world. Come 
Come on, just try something. Forget it, Nistios! You're not welcome here! I get one job! <laughs> Nothing gets past the eyes of Cosmos. What's one life worth without a thousand others behind it? Slaves understand you better when you carve your rules into the backs of their heads. <laughs>
Slavery is natural. It is necessary. Listen, I don't ask questions. I just follow orders. These people sure like building boats.
will rage forever, and so will the cult. Fight is only over when I am the last man left standing.
They'll be on high alert here. Chaos is our greatest strength. Choose your opponent. I will spear Velos like a wild animal. Oh, my God. 
one half without the other is nothing at all. I have nothing left to lose. Empty words are best left unsaid. Your presence is a good omen, Eagle Bearer. It means Zeus is on our side. Only Zeus is on Zeus's side. We could certainly use your sword in battle. Will you help us send the Spartans home on their shields? All right, I'm in. Glad to hear it. Let's send those Spartans to Hades.
present and future, kneel to the cultists of Cosmos. down. Tell me what happened. Raiders in the forest. My husband, he tried to fight them off. Did you say the forest? I thought the forests of Argos are safe. They stole our food, our horse. They wanted to take me. All I can hear is their awful laughing. Such a horrible noise. Laughing? And the whole group ambushed you for one horse? Yes. If your husband is facing the bandits alone, he won't have long to live. Please! I have a child! You have to help us! I will find your husband and the bandits. You saved that child I knew. Can't help but do the right thing, can you? Chrysis? You killed this man just to set a trap? It's an honor to give your life to Ira's greatest priestess. He died willingly. With him gone, I have room for one more on my council. It isn't too late to join us. This stops now, Chrysis! Today you die for what you did to my family. I will avenge my brother. Very well. If you wish to be an agent of chaos, if you wish to be a killer, then kill, child. You could have joined us, We could have ruined the world together. You die for me, my child. <laughs> You fucking snake! <laughs> I will not stop until every last cultist has met my spear. You will be erased from history. I will erase you. This is for my mother and every family you destroyed.
we rule with chaos and destroy those who oppose us. Yeah, away we go. The daughters of Artemis are strong here. I'll be on my guard. I need to stay hidden. I will follow the most to the underworld and bring my hordes with us. spotted here. We've been expecting you. Please follow me. She's instructed me to take good care of you before she arrives. Your soldiers must be aching. I'm sure I can help loosen you up before the Oni arrives. You look like you're ready to go. The High Priestess could be in grave danger. We don't have time for this. Your loss? Fine. I'll fetch the scout and have them give us their report. The Oni said something about the scouts and their report. Where are they? The Oni is done with you. Malaka! <laughs> That's a great Priestess. We'll finish the job. The only is done with you, Miss Yours. Now die! <laughs> 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 Go! 
You, what's going on? I, I was just doing as I was told. The Oni told me to take you to the garden. Please don't kill me. Why did they attack me? I freed these men myself. The Oni played you like she did the High Priestess. The captain you killed was a leader for her sister's reinforcements. Uh, and the poison was to be used against you if you proved too dangerous. I'll show that snake exactly how dangerous I am. Why is the Oni doing this to her own people? The Oni hates her sister. She's been second best all her life. So she joined the cult to take power? I never expected her to take it this far. I'm going to kill this traitor. She's on her way to kill the High Priestess at the altar, north of the temple. You'll have to hurry. The altar? Good. Aphrodite will have a sacrifice tonight. Do you trust the face you see in your reflection? I don't. We ride! Not in a god's name! You're more like a mercenary. You're identical twins? Don't move! I can't believe you're twins. She's always been jealous of my success, mercenary. Living in my shadow has finally broken her. Kill her now! Lived in my shadow! I loved you, Theoni. I never wanted to be your superior. Mistios, you must kill her before she lets the cult take over Kithira. It pains me, but it must be done. You wouldn't feel a thing, you monster. I'm not sure you ever have. The High Priestess will know what was in the note from her handmaiden. Do not trust the fates! How could you possibly know that? Her end must have been so tragic she renounced the fates. The poor girl, it was all my fault. I sent her to spy on you, and you had her killed when she threatened to expose you. Don't listen to her lies. I am the High Priestess. I could just kill you both. Maybe I should. Kill us both? You truly think they care which one of us lives or dies? She speaks true. By the fates, with both of us dead, the cult will simply send their own High Priestess to fill the void. You would know what the cult would do, wouldn't you, Snake? What if I let you settle this yourself? Walk away and you'll have more blood on your hands. The Oni will surely slay me. Snake! She knows I am the one who will perish. If you do nothing, the fall of Kithira will be all your fault. Enough! Slay the Oni where she stands! Do the right thing, Mistyos. Slay the Oni! Shut up! You. I see right through you, the Oni. It's over. By the fates, I'll kill you both! I'll savor every moment! Your cult leader has been sniffed out, High Priestess. My own sister. Ugh, siblings. I hated her. But I loved her too. I know how that feels. You've secured Kithira for me, Mistyos. Now, about the cult of Cosmos. Good thing I killed the right priestess. Indeed. 
As High Priestess, it is my duty to call out to the Wayward and return them to Aphrodite's bosom. And if you've ever been to Pefka and met its inhabitants, you'll see why divine intervention is their only salvation. I've never been. Lucky you. One of my priestesses was sent there and came back... rattled. She spoke of a man. Melite. What about him? The people living in Pefka are terrified of him. He runs some shady operations, but what exactly, I can't be sure. Maybe this will be of help. Thank you, High Priestess. Now, if you'll excuse me, it is time to rebuild. Here. The cult has existed for decades, and will exist for centuries more. Away! for all of this. The cult of Cosmos will burn the old world to ashes and build anew. in this area. Yeah. <laughs> 
I swear on my life and the lives I will take from others, I will not fail the cosmos again. There is no victory without eternal war. The cosmos guide me. daughter anymore. Cosmos fights for Athens, and so Athens fights for Cosmos. Phobos, away!
Malacas. I will lead those who oppose us to the gates of the underworld. Cosmos, be my guide. Be extra careful in this area. I spent 20 years at sea, only to realize the cult was my home. The Adrestia was built to survive the world. If I may, Commander, I'd keep my distance from this one. We've got a fight coming! Be ready! <laughs> Let's go! 
Eagle Bearer. One of the fiercest commanders at sea, I've heard. Any truth to that rumor? Depends why you're asking. The Athenians are planning an attack on our navy. If you were to join in our defense, Poseidon's wrath would be the least of their worries. My crew and my ship are yours. Glad to hear it. Time to send the Athenians to their watery graves. I have sailed past the Sirens and into the mouth of Poseidon himself. The waves bow to me in fear. Head for open water! I don't mind taking a look, but any closer might get us into trouble. Whoa, something handy! of how I killed Poseidon with his own trident and threw his fucking head to the sharks. son to Cosmos, and the cult will be my family. We are the new gods.
those that do not fear cosmos can learn to breathe beneath the waves. When deciding where our loyalties lie, we must consider the end.
Forge activated. Synchronizing retransmission chronosity. Contact engaged. Sandra, it was never supposed to be like this. Decades ago, a group of people gathered together to uphold a theory which they believed could control the universe. That the world functioned in equal parts, order and disorder. But some fell lovingly into the wicked arms of chaos and the cult of Cosmos was born. They abused their power, casting the Greek world into eternal war, one you were created to stop. In destroying the cult, you have done what I could not. You are a hero, but this imbalance comes with a price, my child. For without chaos, there is supreme order, a loss of progression and freedom. But there is still hope. Hope in you. Hope in the future you will bring. We must fix the mistakes of the past. Use the staff. Repair the rift in the universe. The world depends on you, Cassandra. You need to be the hero again. So, you've seen it too, then. It's beautiful, isn't it? What are you doing here? You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? It's true. I was their leader, but only for a moment, it seemed. When your brother came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. You agreed with them? The fucking cult? The powers that be in the Greek world weren't doing things the right way. The cult just wanted a clean slate. By way of corruption? 
dirty drachmi. They killed people in a war they made themselves. Fueling war was one of the methods, yes. But it was controlled. Until suddenly it wasn't. And then I didn't like what we were doing anymore. I thought Demos was on your side. Not in the way we hoped. As you know, he's impossible to control. He worked his way to the helm, and then he held even more sway than I did. Malaga! So you were after us! Not you, your bloodline. People like Leonidas, like you, have always posed a threat. Then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic that you could help me bring down the cult that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly. You're all the same. Selfish and fucking destructive. It was different in the beginning. It wasn't about destruction. It was about redirection. I just don't understand. What about this pyramid? How does it work? Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades. And we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi, the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time. But only certain people can activate it. People like Zemos and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something too. I don't know how or why, but it did show me... something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There would be a movement away from the old gods towards rational society, built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. And I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. So I let them carry out their plans and let the time of the cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait, did Pericles know? I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. He trusted you, and in the end you didn't protect him. Maybe he would be alive if you'd stopped them. Gods know I would have if I could. When Zemos killed him, I knew the original cause was lost. I had to retreat. So, what happens now? We shift focus. We steer towards a new republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make a reality. But it is still a dream. One that isn't realistic. Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. No more blue and red. Just citizens working for a greater good. This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't work. It's not crazy. It's enlightened. Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. <sighs> I'm not sure. You've spent your whole life thinking for yourself. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. Come with me. This future's not a dream. I can't let you do this. You've caused so much damage. You destroyed the Greek world. You've proven you have no understanding of what we're doing. I misjudged you. So did I. Cassandra, there is much left to do now. I can weather any storm.
cult is nothing without me. Even the gods cower in my wake. Kneel or die. My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Vimos killed him in battle. And what of my son? Cleon fired an arrow into Demos' back. Wound didn't look fatal. He could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mater, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taietos, where it all began. My whole life has been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. This is where everything changed. It's like a... Alexios! On the edge of the world, a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Please. You use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your son. Alexios. Come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family? Home. <laughs> my sword is my family. The battlefield is my home. I promised to bring him back, Mater. But the cult has poisoned his mind. Promised to bring me back to Mater, did you? <laughs> you didn't bring me here. Why don't you tell our Mater the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with a destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a... Broken spear. The cult controls your destiny, but you don't need them. Together, we can destroy them and bring peace back to this world. Peace. And what under Helios would you do with yourself if there was peace? Milk the goats? <laughs> Look at you! Almighty oh, Mystios. You profit from this war as much as I do. You don't want peace. You just don't want to deal with me. What I want, what I have always wanted, is my family. When I was little, I found a lion cub 
trapped in this snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in the world of beasts, a family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead. My destiny is clear. And I won't let you get in my way. Alexios, listen to me. You are my brother. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I will not fail again. This belonged to our grandfather. Alexios. Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. There's more to being the best than pure strength. That's an excuse for the weak. I'll show you who's weak. Well, at least the family is all together. I'll get more wine. so bad, was it? I can't believe I have a family again. The gods work in mysterious ways. You never know what they have planned. Someone's kept their eye on me. You're special! Look at the life they've blessed you with. Not so bad, if you think of it all. That's optimistic, considering. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. 
And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you. Behold, I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. My opinion on death is a nebulous one, because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. I'm not afraid either. Many are, because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain. a little girl. I talked to her like she was already grown up. Which you did out of respect for her. Question your choices, Cassandra, but never doubt them. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also a private man. He had to keep to himself. He was always being pursued by something or someone. By protecting himself, he was protecting Athens from ruin. Aspasia may have been the only one who truly knew him. This war has taken so many. Even Brasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. I could have helped him more. He was on my side. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. Apparently, soldiers found Cleon on the beach. A casualty of war, perhaps? Couldn't say. It's hard to recall what happens in the heat of battle. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who am I to say no? supplied me with plenty of new material for my next play. Remember how Cassandra took the monger to task for all of Corinth to see? That would shoot a drama. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink. To us, who have persisted through everything, and to those who wanted to persist. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs>
Courageously.